softball writers have often said he's on another planet. Perhaps Kevin should be started to believe his own publicity. During a guest appearance on Talking Fluffy, Seeds Let Fly was this. That's why I get down to decisions from Martians and that, but... By Martians, you mean the umpires? I wouldn't say that. I'm not allowed to talk about umpires. And I'm not allowed to talk about commissioners. For Fitzroy's rookie coach, Bernie Quinlan, the year ended on a sour note after round 19. But he did have his moments. A trip to football park in round six among them. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, my record of studying looked a lot like Don Scott's in South Australia. That was worrying me. That was really worrying me. When the end came, Bernie was devastated and a little relieved at having his Sundays free again. Apart from the odd appearance on the Sports World footy panel. Bernie, stand up, Bernie, old son. You're looking well. What's the matter, Bob? The old wound. Gary is coaching honeymoon was rudely interrupted by Gary Hocking when he quits as captain six weeks into the season. But he has decided the Cats had so much talent they could have three co-captains. Gary Ablett, Ken Hinckley and Barry Stoner. Meanwhile, a David Parkin throwaway line about the ease of Carlton's demolition of Fitzroy provided plenty of news copy. Fitzroy will need to start about half past one and not kick a point. In round 12, a story broke from Brisbane that Robert Walls had told the club he would step down at the end of the season. New Fremantle coach Jared Neesham pulled the latest change of the season, up and in, wanted out as the ball was about to be bounced. I suppose there's a lot been made of it, but uh, it, it definitely wasn't something that was intentional. You know, we were actually out there trying to play our best 21 and we were instantly restricted. First of all, the end of season coaching merry-go-round was former world champion netball coach Joyce Brown. Or did she? No, it was not my intention to apply for the job. I think that in the future that uh, because it really is people management and these days that I think that coaching of a team should be with a master coach or a head coach with your support staff of specialist coaches, that there's no reason that in the future that a woman with the ability uh, would not be appointed to such a position either on the support staff or as the head coach. Ronald Dale Barassi retired after 514 games as a coach with a 53% win-loss record and four flags. Peter Mates and Lee Matthews were sacked within seven hours of each other and Collingwood wasted no time appointing Tony Shaw to fill lethal shoes. How could Kevin Shooty possibly have got away with that stuff about the Martians? I think he was referring well, to Lumpas. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, you know what I think. <laughs>